Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay, so welcome back and let's take a look and this video we will be handling the states. So which component should be shown when at what stage? So for example, if I am logged in, I'm not supposed to see the sign up page or sign in page. And if I am not logged in, I'm not supposed to see the logout page. So we will be handling those things in this uh, video. So let's get started. So first of all, we will need to take care of the on auth state change. So this will be in Firebase. So let's go into the documentation of Firebase. So as you can see here on our state chain, we, the recommended way to get the current user is by setting an observer on the auth object. So we will take this and we will paste it inside our app.js because it's supposed to be on the top level. So it's here and we, we have Firebase app which is initialized, right? So it's gonna handle this. So console log user dot user or uh, it's, it's just gonna give you the UID okay great and console dot log no user logged in no user logged in okay great so when this thing runs it is going to tell you okay so app 26, great, we are here and it worked as expected on sign up. Oof. Let's check the error. Now this is not related to our thing, but resource must be listed. Okay, we'll take care of this thing in a while. But yes, we have a user who is logged in. This Google Pixel. Okay. Hmm. So right now this user is logged in, so we are getting the UID. So what we need to do here is we need to go ahead and check that. First of all, let me log out. So instead of sign up, I'll do sign out or I can just do it in the nail bar where is it no bar on click click and I'll have firebase app dot auth Let's see if this is the right thing. Dot sign out. Okay. No, not this one. Sign out. Okay, I think this should work, but let me see what the issue is. So okay. Alright, let's see. We are logged in at this moment, but if I log out, let's see what happens. Okay, no user logged in. So we got logged out and we have no user logged in. So which is great, which is something what we are expecting at the moment. So let's go back to app and we will have a state here. So const and this state will name it as stage. So set stage equals to use state and it will be an empty object in the beginning uh, not empty object but empty string and we are not using the state so let's use it so nail bar is okay we don't really we, we can pass in the state a stage so we'll pass a stage just to handle the logout button so stage will be 
stage and here stage equals to logged in if this is the case so I'm supposed to show like feed so this feed will go inside of this and if stage is equal to mm, not logged in or something like that so at this stage we are supposed to show them sign up okay so and from sign up we can navigate into navigate back and forth to sign up sign in so okay so we have the sign up here and let's do one thing first of all I'll set the stage to set stage to logged in right so I'll do this and here I'll set the stage to not logged in okay so this is okay not bad and next what we need to do here is we can okay I'm thinking that what are the things that are remaining so sign up when we are not logged in is gonna show up sign up and when we are logged in it's just gonna show us the feed which is good so let's go into the sign up and see if we can create the functionality to log in the user so here we can have a button which is going to have submit and I'll have to create a function constant on submit this is an arrow function so it will take first of all we need to have states right so const first name set first name use state Okay, this is a really small thing, so I can just use like data and set data, right? So I can use date. This is an empty object. And initially, what I'll do here is I'll name it first name as empty last name as, as empty string email as empty string and password as an empty string okay so here what I'm going to do is create another font on change and so what I'm doing is on every text input change I'm going to change this object and it's going to be like data dot first name data dot last name data dot email and things like that so let me make a shallow copy so const new data equals to data this is I'm making a shallow copy of it and new data dot this is the parameter I'll have a, as a parameter name or maybe I'll just name it key and value so here it will be key equals to value and set data equals to new data okay so on change it there should be on change and event equals to on change and on change text I'll name it text just to be a bit specific okay so first one will be the parameter so parameter is first name 
second one is the value so e dot target dot value so let's do the same thing for all of them and we'll see if it changes or not last name I prefer to do all four individually like Hans first name set first name Hans last name set last name but this is I'm trying something let's see if this works it should work if it doesn't we'll make it work but you state so email and password okay we'll check here how it is so json dot stringify data okay so let's see you might see data here and this is good d h a v l g r d s h d v l at gmail dot com one two three four five okay perfect so everything is working as we expected and let's go to the on submit so on submit it will be let's go into the on submit and make it as a make it look a bit different mm -hmm. we'll just do a destructuring so because we have like four things right so I'll just destructure it in this way that it is definitely gonna take my object so we have the key as email password first name and last name right so it doesn't need to individually I don't want to individually pass it rather than just pass in an object so here I will just do one thing so on submit sign up and data so let's see what we are returning so this is returning false this is returning true gonna return an error as well so it's not a right or good way to do it because we are returning boolean at these two points and we are returning error but we can return false here and yeah it's not an issue so we're just returning boolean and let's see constant return uh, not return but result equals to sign up console log if result is true if result so console sign up successful else sign up not successful or failed okay so this is good and I'll have to do we should call it on on submit press so on click equals to on submit so this is good this is not bad and okay great let's see what happens so right now we don't have it we don't have anything here so no user logged in it happened twice okay so let's see it one more time okay no problem this is okay if no user is logged in it's fine because that's gonna keep checking it uh, it's an observer so it's gonna keep calling it all the time so let's do on submit right away and it's gonna sign up fail and hero Jack, I'll have some in Jack at gmail.com. Password 123456. Six. So let's see. Sign up failed. But it did return something. So it wasn't, I didn't throw find up, sign up failed. I don't think so. Okay. Let's try one more time. Not logged in, not logged in. It did it twice. And okay a b a at gmail I hate 
Okay, email is badly formatted. Com. Let's see, we're not supposed to see sign of failed. So should we at least, okay. At this point we are supposed to see, but yeah. Sign up is initially it is showing sign up failed. It's directly returning something, but we can do it in this way as saying and await. So let's see what happens here. Let's await has no effect on this type of expression. Hmm. Let's see. If, oh, okay. It's because we are not waiting for this thing. We are waiting for the sign up. So we should have a sync await here. A sync await. So but we are already doing this thing. So this is a dot then so it has nothing to do with it it's supposed to be done here I guess sync let's see if this warning is wrong it has no effect so quick unnecessary await let's see we don't want to see that message no user or no login no user logged in okay at gmail.com okay so let me clear it and see hmm so this is not working it is giving us fail at sign up but then it is showing us the result okay this can be taken care of so catch is false there's no sign up first name last name is there so this is not gonna return anything from here it is returning from it's not even returning from here the so sign up okay there's result I don't think if the, uh, if that's even false. So result equals to true. Do this as if let's see result equals to false. That's when you show the sign of failed, not in any other circumstances. So because initially the result is going to be undefined or anything, right? So let's see log out I see at gmail dot com okay so submit great so this is working as we expected that is gonna show us okay perfect it's showing the UID which is great all right, so now what we need to do here is we need to show, we are showing up the profile page and everything, right? So sign up, sign in thing is working great. So let's do one thing. In the next video, what I'll do is I'll create a switch because this is super simple and I'll just create a switch between sign up and sign in. So if I click on sign up like this, uh, I'll even modify a bit of UI. So if I click on sign in, it's going to take me to this guy and if I press on sign up, it's going to take me to sign, sign up. So I'll do that in the next video and I'll see you there. So see you, stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye bye.